friend of mine who passed away, may Allah bless her soul, very young. And I saw her two days before. I was with her 48 hours before she passed away. And I was just coming back from Umrah. She looked at me and says, she was terminal. She said, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me life, there's two things I want to do. She has young kids. Didn't say anything about the children. <laughs> Honestly, all her yeah. parents were still alive. Nothing about the dunya. It's just two things. I want I want Allah to give me life because I want to do two things still I didn't do. And I said, what is it? She says, I want to go to his house and I want to memorize the Quran. Two days later, she died. SubhanAllah. What do you think Allah will reward her? Because the niya. Intention. In, yeah. <laughs> Subhan and I left after we, I was there when she literally passed away. And I said, what is my excuse? I'm still breathing. And then you come in you and you said it's going to be, maybe I will not finish, maybe I'll die. And then I, the ayah in Surah An-Nisa comes to you. Whosoever migrate for the sake of Allah, he will see a lot of khair and the earth is wide enough for him. But the second part is related to here. وَمَنْ يَخْرُجْ مِنْ بَيْتِهِ مُهَاجِرًا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ When you leave your home for the sake of Allah, migrating for the sake of Allah and His Messenger, and then what happens? ثُمَّ يُدْرِكُ الْمَوْتِ Then he or she dies. فَقَدْ وَقَعَ أَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ Allah will reward him as if he completed his journey. Exactly. So here you go. 